You know that feeling where the world feels like it's moving so fast that nothing's moving at all. For New Year's, I decided my world was going to come to a pause. Literally forgotten the number one thing that I needed food and drink. And not even snacks! Hi, hello. This feels like stupid idea number one of 2024. <laughs> so I decided to spend New Year's alone. It was actually my choice, surprisingly. But instead, I decided that my phone would stop beeping at some point. I don't know, really. I just kind of wanted to do something on my own and make memories on my own. If there's one piece of advice that I can encourage you to take from me, of all people, it would be... I've forgotten. <laughs> Make memories on your own that are just for you. Do things on your own, even if you're scared. Like, trust me, I don't really like being on my own. I get so much anxiety just sat here. I feel like somebody's going to come and murder me. But I'm not manifesting. I'm not manifesting. That. Please don't do. Please. <sighs> so I decided to take myself on a little New Year's date. I've got all glammed up. And I've just come to one of my favourite places in the world. It's like being pretty much dry all day and then just as I set off it started raining again. That was probably a sign that I should have taken but instead I didn't. So I'm gonna do some things to like kind of make New Year's memorable. This is an idea that I have completely just stolen from Eden, so thanks Eden if you're watching this. I'm gonna write some notes to strangers to just kind of find. I feel like this is the perfect place to hide the notes because it's not raining now so I can hide them in like cracks of the wall and stuff. stayed my welcome at this point so I am gonna head home and continue the New Year's celebrations. And suddenly, the world felt quiet again. There's people. Oh. <laughs> Come here, you're really obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> 